Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sekiro. This is long overdue. I promised to get the show on the road like days ago at this point. I've just not been around to really get around to actually recording. Around to around. Yeah, we're already off to a strong start in the grammar department. Let's have a look at... Okay, positioning my finger here. Still not used to this face cam. Uh, let's look at this cutscene for a little bit. This game has a badass intro cutscene, by the way. You gotta admit. We'll talk about what's gonna go down here in a little bit after we're done here. That is... That is fucking brutal. That kill, and you're like... Oh shit, I keep knocking into my mic. He like pushes his sword into his neck. Jesus. I'm knocking into my mic, I can't talk. I'm talking over the cutscene like a dumbass. I know it's been a, like a long time since I've played this game. <laughs> Ouch. That's a dirty tactic. This dude don't give a fuck though. Oh, he did give a fuck. I thought the spear dude won in this one. Gotta play it on Japanese, like, obviously. If you play this game on English, I don't know what to tell you. That is a nice visual, too. I've forgotten how good this game is, too. That's us, Master Shinobi. That dude is fucking gigantic, like classic souls uh, to have like imposing characters for some reason be like one and a half times a normal human. It's always been like a case. Like a case? Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna put like a bad grammar counter somewhere. Cause this is getting terrible. We're back. Cut there because there was a long cutscene. Not cutscene, what am I talking about? Loading screen. I think we can start laying the ground rules here uh, as we watch this lovely cutscene uh, with Emma. This is going to be not a full playthrough in that it's not going to be like a traditional me going through the game, talking shit nonstop. Uh, think of it more like as a best of. I'm going to play through the game, record it, commentate it, and you'll see the highlights. Like... Obviously, it's not going to be like a stream highlight video, but I want to cut out the boring parts because they're boring for a reason. Uh, just trying something different. Um, think of this as like the the Maluk Racer, if you guys remember that. Yeah, it's going to be like, a, you know key moments, but not really, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you have seen gameplay videos that work like this. Uh, so here we're back, Sekiro, let's get started. Starting immediately with the disclaimer that if you follow this channel and if you are interested, 
you will know that I'm also playing Neo. And that is a little bit of an issue because somehow like the games are on the same like frequency in that it's a ninja game. Same frequency, what the fuck am I talking about? They're very similar. The only issue is both of these games control completely differently. So if you are watching my Neo stream in the future, wait, hold on. They're not gonna be watching my stream and watching this at the same time, but be prepared for a lot of mixing up of the controls and shit. I think that's gonna be like the key issue of this playthrough. I mean, obviously, this game is a lot more platformy than Neo. Neo sticks a lot more heavily to the Souls formula. Of course, it doesn't have a stealth mechanic. I should look at this letter too. Um, God, I've forgotten how this game <laughs> controls. Kuro's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find it done that. Step one complete. Even without a blade you can reach it. You gotta get a Nippon Steel later. Okay, and you can eavesdrop here. Uh, there it is. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. What a sentence. God, what, is, what the fuck is going on outside? I have my window open, which is when I'm listening to enemies. Shit, well, the weather's good. It's almost summer. Um, activities are picking up outside, you know, it's to be expected. Also, I have my window open a lot more. Still kind of weird to me. Just the idea that there's a Souls game out here with this much platforming in it. You know, not that that's a negative thing, but... You know, this was like unexpected if you go back to like 2011. I thought that this, this kid was a girl for so long. It must have been like three episodes into my very first playthrough that somebody informed me that Kuro's a boy and I'm like, damn. Looks like Yuna from Final Fantasy. It's gonna give me the bong water container, I think, right now. So we're gonna be sipping from that. As I elegantly scratch my nose. This game has a lot of cutscenes too, so we're gonna have to somehow tackle that, because I don't want to skip those. But you probably also don't want to just me sit me sit here like, you know, open mouth. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look around here before we go out. Pellet. Oh yeah, you don't have your bong water container. You get that later. Interesting book physics though. He does give you the gourd. Shit. I'm completely like confused. He does give you the bong water. It's just Emma, that's the, she's the one that upgrades it. I remember. I'm being cinematic here. Listen. Christopher Nolan, get on my level. 
That's how we'll make these cutscenes interesting. Gonna explore my inner director. This motherfucker talks a lot too, this kid. I should not have skipped that, probably. How do you use it? It's up, right? Yeah, yeah, it's up. There is a common point with Neo 2. Unbelievable. Alright, that's the one thing I'm not going to be screwing up. Alright, bitches. Now it's time. Hell yeah. I fucking love the combat system of this game. Eat shit. Get stabbed in the heart slash armpit. Did I mention? I probably didn't mention that I that I absolutely fucking love this game. Uh Seriously, I do think it's missing the overall replayability of the other Souls games, but man, is it tight. Not in any sort of dirty way, but in a really good game way. I swear there's a way to get into this building. There isn't a way to get in this building. Oh, this guy's gonna have a bad day. The question is, which one? This one is gonna have a bad day. He did not have too bad of a day. I thought I was gonna do a drop attack. Shit. How do you run? Okay, you run like... Okay. I'm gonna really try not dying here, because that would be... Hella embarrassing. Use my last pellet. That was a bit of a fail. And then we have a hard enemy coming up here. This is this is what you gotta practice in this game. Oh. Gotta do Sekiro dance. There he is. Leader Shigerio Yamauchi. That was mad easy. But he's gonna he can survive a next stab. That's how badass he is. And he don't give a fuck about getting hit. Now he does though. Easiest thing I've ever done. I feel like me and this game are gonna be... Are gonna be buddies because... I was never like amazing at this game but... I can manage. No, don't need to worry about me. Mm. Gotta remember we don't have our thingy just yet. Our grappling hook. a bit of an eavesdrop. Those dudes didn't say a single interesting thing. Yeah, you have this thing. Looks like fucking robot from Invincible. Like his actual body. Which... If you haven't watched Invincible yet, shout out Amazon. Actually, don't shout out Amazon because Amazon is a shitty company. 
but they do make good shows. Um, Invincible being one of them. Man, that shit is good. Let's go. I'm gonna get fucked up by Genichiro. I have a feeling. I still, to this day, I don't know how the fuck he got over here. Like, I know everybody's dead, but this is some, like, platforming to get over here. By the way, this is my third ever playthrough only. I've only completed this game twice. First one being the very first playthrough you saw. The second one being um, just I played it on my own. I'm gonna try going for one of the better endings. There's, there's like four endings in this game. <coughs> Technically only two, but there's like three variations of the second one. Yeah, we just escaped. There is no way anything bad is gonna happen. Like, nothing bad ever happens in Souls games. I think I'm gonna use my medicine because... Alright, I'm all healed up as much as I can be. Let's do this. Ganich. Mr. Ganich. I mean, you can tell this dude is way above our level. Got that fancy armor. Thanks, dog. It's not my dog, but that's a dog. Fitting, though, because we are almost a dog. We're a wolf in this game. And that's my dog, joining in on the fun. There's gonna be a lot of this in this playthrough, don't worry about it. Don't even worry. Alright, Gneech. Time to fuck you up. I'm not gonna fuck him up. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest to fuck him up though. That was... how did I even do that? Listen, I'm not such a noob. Ouch. Never mind. He broke my guard. I put up more of a fight than I expected. There goes the wanking arm. Poor Sekiro. Listen, bro, you don't have to roast me like that. No, those things. <laughs> Man, are they a pain in the ass. Alright. Let's sit back now because there's gonna be a shit ton of cutscenes coming up. Not much I can do about that. Gotta immerse yourself in the story. I'm just gonna sit here stone faced.
told you. As in the sitting stone-faced part. Listen, this is gonna get more interesting, don't even worry about it. This is only episode one. Things are gonna pick up. My wanking arm. It's back. Isn't it weird how like... That's such like a British phrase. Like the very word itself. I'm gonna get demonetized if I talk about this. Like wank. That's such like a... English. Like Americans don't say that. Yeah. We traded all the waifus for this dude. What a shitty trade, right? This is who our shrine maiden is. But not really. What the shit is that? Are those online messages? Or is that part of the DLC? Because there is DLC now to this game. Free one. Should turn the volume up too. Because I used to play Dark Souls 2, 3 before. And that game is mad loud. So, you know, let's let's make sure I actually hear the game. He was going to have our way with us. I'm so curious about those now. Oh, I should. That's the camera angle for this dude. What did you do? Why though? I don't remember the lore to this guy, why he helps you. I gotta like pick up on it as we go along. Come on, stop talking. I want to see what those two things are. I'm pointing there one again. Face cam kind of frame. I gotta get used to it. Fear the old blood. I think I've made that joke like a million times. Some strange things happening to poor Sekiro here. Cool. Let me go. Let me go. I wanna... Wanna play more. What the hell are these? Touch remnant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is something they added, messages, right? They weren't in the original. That is cool. They're gonna be fucking filled with this shit. Shinobi can leave behind shit. This is new.
Yeah, I know about the network. Hook up your router, Sekiro, because otherwise there ain't gonna be anything. See, I could go on now. We're gonna hit up the statue. Not much we can do. I'm gonna go out and clear the tutorial with the... What's his name? The immortal dude. Because we might as well... Fuck, if there, there's gonna be this many of these around, I might... Um, I might just go offline. But then again, they might help. Yep, you know the deal. He's taller than us as well. He has a badass face mask as well. Face masks? Three. Three grammar fails. Let's do it. This is not important dialogue, so I'm like glossing over it. Of course, the thing with this deflect tutorial, just to comment on it, is that he only does one attack, which very few enemies in the game do. And of course, this useless fucking dodge. Alright, now that's out of the way. I don't think he gives you anything either. Is that a fucking vacuum cleaner? Seriously? Can you hear that? Oh shit. That's gonna be terrible. Suburban life, right? Although, was New York any better? I constantly fucked around with like ambulances and shit. Not fucked around, but you know, like, if I was recording an ambulance slash police was surely gonna go by, surely. Alright, let's actually get going here. I can't believe one of the things they didn't fix with the DLC is uh, getting rid of these tutorials. Like, I know how to play the game, thanks, at this point. God, this game has good art direction. Yeah, I think these remnants are gonna get a little bit annoying, but let me know. Let me know what your view is, and I'll leave them or disable them. It doesn't really matter either way to me. Time to start. What the fuck was that? Because this game is a fucking candy store too.
and that there's like a million fucking oh yeah and can you like <laughs> nice i always like this mechanic you just kind of and money comes to you i wish it worked like that in real life hell be vacuuming up cash all the time if that was the case Of course, the thing with this game is that you don't actually have to fight everybody. Um, because technically you don't level up in this game, it's not too much of an issue. But then again, I kind of wanna. Whatever. I mean, you get money, and the chicken... The chicken is truly the greatest Sekiro enemy. I didn't even get the visceral kill on it. Which is where the fun is. The visceral kill the chick. I like that it's mapped to a different button though. Uh, the remnant and the... Uh, the thingy. The interact. It would be mad annoying. This is really useful. Uh, it would be mad annoying if they were mapped to the same button. Like they are in other Souls games. The question is, we have that boy right there. I feel like he might be the first real challenge of the playthrough. Yup. He has a bad time. Sorry, General. General Kenobi. I know. I couldn't leave that joke, could I? Oh, cheater. Ouch, yeah. I know your tactics, bitch. Did he just break my guard? I think he did. These guys don't fuck around. Either. Listen, stop interrupting me, game. This game has a bad habit of doing that, by the way. <gasps> no! We're not dead yet. You think you're safe, General? Or are we dead? No, we're not. There's just a cutscene. Come on. Resurrect. Resurrection. Ouch. Cinematic on the cliffside. Resurrected. No scratch. Gourd seed. Getting mad shit from him. That was more like it though, uh, because the first guy you fight uh, that has two HP bars is a absolute pushover. So that was a little bit more of the level of challenge. And he isn't even that difficult either. Okay, so first things first here. There's a boy on the roof if I remember correctly. But I I know your ways, Sekiro. I've played you a couple of times. I've been forgetting to vacuum. I've been killing enemies too. God, this fucking vacuum cleaner is driving me insane. I think somebody's about to spot me. Fuck. I've been spotted. That's not good. 
Where is he? Sucks for you. And sucks for you as well. Sucks for you as well, except I have like zero HP left. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, it's one of these things. I hate these things, especially with this HP situation ongoing. Sorry, I busted your house, sick woman. You have so much dialogue that I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, I'm just like... Fucking everything up here. Okay, get me to a checkpoint and we'll be all cool. At least I think there's a checkpoint here somewhere. Uh, somebody noticed me. Am I gonna get killed? Well... That question was answered immediately. I think that's gonna be the extremely climactic ending of episode one of Sekiro. We start from this place. Cool, I should go back and get my Shurik N. Yeah, um, I got fucked up there a little bit. Blasted, more like. Bloodborne style. This is such a good game. Um, there's just no other way around it. And I'm really having a good time today. Hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. What a screen to end on. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like comment, subscribe. I don't know if I'm going to put shit there, but if I do, like, comment, su subscribe for. Turn on post notifications to stay up to date on the content. There's more episodes of this game coming up in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good one. Whatever else positive you can say. Peace out and goodbye.